Christmas. Christmas. This will be our third Christmas with you guys. So for the past two years, we've done some really unhealthy things every single Christmas. On the first time, we did like a chicken nugget challenge. On the second Christmas, we did like a bubble tea toast. And so this year, we thought we'll make something healthy for a change, but still really yummy. A lot of you have requested these two recipes for a long time, and they're my absolute favorite. The first one is Mama Wong's green bean pasta with bell pepper sauce. And the second one is Papa Wong's salmon tofu tomato soup. So you guys can also make these recipes at Christmas gathering with your family and your loved ones. Perfect if you're on a fitness or weight loss journey or if you just want something healthier for your family. So if you guys are ready, let's go to the kitchen and start with Mama Wong's pasta recipe. Let's go Gigi, let's go with pasta. I'm recently obsessed with bean pasta because it has more than twice the protein and four times the fiber of regular pasta and way less carbs making you feel full for longer, so an amazing choice for weight loss. Plus, it's so yummy, the texture is a bit chewy. I like it even more than normal fatty pasta. This recipe is vegetarian, a great source of plant-based protein, very low in calorie and helps with digestion. The homemade bell pepper sauce is also very easy to make and so delicious. Bell peppers are rich in vitamins and antioxidant, can boost immune system, improve eye, bone and blood health and reduce risk of several chronic diseases. Plus, making your own sauce means less sodium, sugar and additives than if you buy in the store. What we need is a pack of green bean pasta. We got it from Chutm Gao in Hong Kong. Half of each of these bell peppers, red, yellow, green, but of course any color you like. And then two tomatoes, half lemon and half onion. Gone 少少就可以了。Once it's boiling, you put all the stuff in. <laughs> Have me buy two more. Wow. Oh, mm, yeah. Is that your contribution to this pasta? Lo 現在我們開始第二個步驟 
，大約一茶羹到啦，茄汁落一湯羹魚露。咁落咗就鮮味啲，但係如果你哋唔落都可以嘅，大約五六滴到啦。咁大家已經見到變咗好似個醬咁㗎啦。咁但係呢，仲要煮嘅喎，因為佢啲 ingredient 啲味呢要慢慢吸收嘅。見到差唔多呢，我哋先至落綠色嘅 green pepper， 因為呢個呢一落咗呢唔能夠煮得耐㗎。咁為咗佢冇變色呢，我哋就加啲檸檬汁。咁然後最後呢，我哋就加啲面落去撈啦。加咗面，因為咧個 temperature 低咗啦，咁啊大翻少少火。好啦，咁啊加啲鹽啦，咩鹽都得嘅。我就落咗 pink salt， 可以試味啦。咁你自己鹹度啊、甜度啊、酸度啊，自己調啦。我就中意食 herb 嘅，我就用咗呢一隻 Italian。你又可以用唔同，你可以用 parsley 啊，咩都得。可以加啲黑椒，覺得 OK 喎、啊。咁就我哋可以上菜啦。Mmm, mmm, mmm. My favorite thing about this pasta is really the texture. It's just perfect because I love pasta. I always end up eating so many plates. So thank God that this is not that much carbs, and also the sauce is really good as well. It's not the usual type of pasta sauce that you get in a supermarket. A lot of sodium and other artificial stuff that they would add. We only add a very little bit of salt and brown sugar and a bit of ketchup, but it's mostly the taste from the fresh tomato and also bell pepper. We're going to show you. The next recipe, Papa Wong's salmon tofu tomato soup. It's very fresh and sweet and extremely filling, so perfect if you're on a weight loss or fitness journey. You guys see me eat it very often on my Instagram story. Salmon is rich in omega-3, while both salmon and tofu are a great source of protein with a lot of vitamins and minerals. Together with tomato, this soup helps improve brain, bone, blood, heart, eye, skin, and digestive health. Plus, reducing risk of cancer and diabetes. Hakjil 等佢慢慢煲下佢，煎三文魚啦，落兩塊姜可以加啲生魚啦，嚟煎下佢得嘅，兩邊都煎下佢啦。但係就唔使成嚿熟曬嘅，因為我哋成日都會再煲。再煲佢，我將到落啦。滾咗之後咧，生翻咧係細火啦，煲十五分鐘。豆腐咧就將嗰啲水咧就倒咗去，再揾啲水咧再沖一沖佢啦。一陣咧就冚落去得佢，煲咗十五分鐘啦。熄咗先咧，我哋就落豆腐啦。可以落少鮑魚汁嘅，唔使落好多。又要將佢煲翻滾啊！細火煲咗十五分鐘，咁啊已經得噶啦。咁我哋啊熄火啦，可以飲啦，好正嘅，好甜嘅啲三文魚。我哋咧今日咧就。其實用咗好少時間，都唔使一個鐘頭。超容易整啊！白超容易整啦，呢、這個湯咧就俾阿 M 嚟試下啦。大家聖誕快樂！耶耶，試下，試下。And now I'm gonna try it. 嗯，正啊 ，so so sweet， a lot of protein。嗯。If you want, you can actually boil it for even longer, and the soup will be even sweeter. All right, hope you guys like this video and enjoy these recipes. You can definitely try it at home. Both are very, very easy to make. If you end up making them, you can take a photo and tag me on Instagram, Emmy Wong, and I would repost it on my Instagram story. Before you go, remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and also turn on the notification button so you won't miss all the new fun videos coming your way. And I wish you and your family and your loved ones. A very merry Christmas.